Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I hit Paragon 1300 without grinding open world whatsoever. I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. I did also mention this in a video a couple of weeks ago where a lot of people didn't believe that this would work but I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and how I reached Paragon 1300 in 30 minutes. Let's do this. So the key thing for me was making sure that on the Monday I would be on or below server Paragon level, which meant I barely played towards the end of the week. I basically just did my three chests from like Thursday onwards so that I wouldn't gain too many levels. I also saved up my assembly awards, shadow war rewards, and also prediction challenge rewards from the last week and a half, just so that I'd have a little bit of extra boost and experience there. So looking at my codex, what I did was I picked one key battle pass task to focus on and that was random dungeons as you can see. I've got 4,556 battle pass points just on that so we're going to claim that first and instantly that gives five paragon levels. Now I did sit and work out the experience which I'll go through in a sec. I'm now going to claim mail before I claim any more battle pass points and that is because that has the next highest amount of experience. So now I'm going to go back into my codex and just continue to claim the other points that are here. So you can see there's not really many things with points on other than a couple of bounties and raids. I've also got all the quest tasks that I completed so I'm going to gain those points as well. So I mentioned that I worked out which would give me the most experience points and that was this here. So on the left was all my mail rewards and on the right was my battle pass points just from random dungeons so you can see battle pass points gave me over 24 million experience and the mail rewards gave me just over 15 million experience so that is why i claimed them in that order i wanted to claim the thing with the highest experience at 100 percent and the next highest uh, the next percentage i think it was probably about 60 percent rewards so I have a couple more things to claim that's going to give me some more experience points here. So we have best returning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And again, I didn't farm open world for this. This is just what I gained from doing bounties throughout the week. Um, I haven't been handing in any other pages because I've really worked hard to stay um, under server Paragon for the Monday because I knew that it would be tricky, like more tricky to kind of hit um the 1300 if i was above paragon level because it would be reduced rewards and i just wanted this to be an easy ride there's so many times that i've like grinded open world for hours on end just to hit that next paragon so we've also got a cursed tower rewards to claim so i'm going to grab that as well and where are we now we're kind of getting closer to 1300 um, let's hand in these fish so i'm going to go to the guy in balfen because that is the closest one so we're at 1297 i don't think we're going to gain um when, i don't think we're going to get it to 1298 from handing in these fish but let's just see what level that takes us to and then we're going to go ahead and do um as many of the inferno six raids as possible so i think it's probably going to be four raids with the um current combat rating that i've got um i know i've got the combat rating for the first four so we're going to go ahead and do those and see if that will give us the last bit of experience that we need the fish definitely didn't give us much we're still a little bit away from the next paragon level um, but i'm hoping that with five helicopter raids we should hit 1300 so let's go and do that now and see if we can so it actually only ended up taking three of the Inferno 6 Elite Crew bosses to hit 1300. Now part of the reason for this is because I had saved these until I was close to 1300 and it was my first clear experience rewards on those bosses. So before equipping any of my new gear, my combat rating is 34,543 and we're going to go ahead and identify these items and also see what's in my stash to see what we're going to use to gain a little bit more combat rating and where we'll be at with that. Now, I was super disappointed by my legendaries here. Um, obviously, you can see, yes, there's lots of upgrades here. However, I found no helm and no offhands in my 60 levels of pre-farming. So I've been pre-farming Inferno 6 since Paragon 1240. And this is all I have from that. And I think that is absolutely pathetic. Like considering the amount of dungeons I've done um, <laughs> leading up, to inferno six and i'm not just talking about in the last two weeks i'm just talking about in general 
um, this is kind of disappointing. So I'm just going to go for the ones with the highest combat rating and that will give me the highest damage for now. Um, unfortunately, with a lot of the pre-farmed items as well, I didn't find many with critical hit chance. So I'm going to be taking a bit of a hit on that and losing a little bit of my critical hit chance from what it is at the moment. But hopefully by having that boost in combat rating, I won't really feel much of a difference with that. So we're going to go ahead and just equip these and then we'll look at set items as well. Now one thing I did almost forget was all of the event rewards from the different events in games. So we've got mystery um, equipment boxes here. So this one should give legendary gear and this should be based on the Halikri boss you've beaten. So hopefully that one will be an upgrade. It should be in theory. We've also got all of these. These sometimes just have trash equipment which looks like that's what it's going to be. But every now and again you get lucky and there is sometimes a legendary item in there as well. So we're just going to claim these. And I've obviously also got all of these legendary items and a couple of green items there as well to claim, as well as a couple of these. So we'll take this and see if we get any more upgrades. Um, doesn't look like... Okay, there's one upgrade here and that one is quite nice. So I'm probably going to swap that out for the one that I have equipped just now from my stash. Um, but again, out of all of this, there's two upgrades. Um, these are also sets that I don't really use. Um, Vitus, I will use that. So I'll just put both of those pieces in my stash for now and maybe use them at a later date. But for now, there's nothing. And the hailstone that should have been an upgrade was not. What a surprise. So anyway, after equipping all my gear that I'd found and updating my uh, tableau, my combat rating finished on 35,751. So that's over a thousand gained on combat rating. And yeah, that is basically it from me today. I hope you found this video helpful. I would have done it a bit more in detail, but I thought you probably don't want to hear me talking for half an hour or anything like that. Um, so that is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.